Let's do it, boys. All right. I just got my hands on some Wagyu. This is the steak. <laughs> I am so hyped for this. I, I'm i not worthy to be touching a steak like this. It's one of the best cuts of meat in the entire world. And I just got my dirty, unworthy hands on some Wagyu. It's not A5, but it's Wagyu. It is incredible. Just me touching it, the fat is melting already. What I'm gonna do, I got a New York strip, half a pound. I'm gonna cut this in half. Let it rest half hour, room temp. We're gonna hit it with just salt, just pepper. We're gonna hit it on a really hot uh, cast iron pan. And we're just gonna add salt and pepper and we're gonna cook it and we're gonna see how amazing this is. Let's do it, boys. All right, guys, I got the steak here. It's been resting for a half hour. It is amazing. Just going like this, it melts right in my hand. <laughs> what we're gonna do, we're gonna put this cast iron on high heat, let it get up to a good temperature, then we're gonna lower the heat back down to medium. We want the cast iron to be nice and hot once we hit it with that Wagyu. While that cast iron's getting up to temp, we're gonna trim this a little bit. I'm gonna get rid of this piece of fat and a little bit of this fat cap. The reason for it is I'm gonna toss this right into that cast iron and I'm gonna render out that fat. That's gonna be our oil. It, it just, it cuts so unbelievably clean. Like it's, it's like literally just butter. That is absolutely beautiful. <laughs> We're gonna do one nice clean cut. We got a nice piece of fat. We'll toss that in the pan in just a sec. But for now, I've never eaten meat raw, but I want this to be an exception. We're gonna cut it nice and thin. Just a tiny piece. I'm gonna hit it with just some salt on both sides. And I'm going in. It is unbelievably tender. It is the most tender cut of meat I've ever had in my entire life and it is beautiful. All right, now that we're getting ready to put this in, I'm gonna salt and pepper it. Anything else would be a shame. So we're gonna hit it with a good bit of salt. Just all nice and over. We're gonna want it a good bit because we're putting the whole piece in in one go. And then we're going to add some pepper, nice and coarse. And we'll rub it in. Do it to the other side. We're going to want to get this on all sides. We're going to roll this in. Now that this is nice and seasoned up, we're going to take it onto that cast iron. We're going to kill the temp, hit it back on medium, and we're going to cook this bad boy. All right, guys. We're about to drop it right in that pan. We're gonna hit it with some of that fat right over there first. We're gonna render it out. I'll show you how that works. And then we're gonna go right at it. And we're just gonna dump this right in. We're gonna let it render out for about 10, 30 seconds. And then we're gonna put the whole steak right in. Just immediately on hitting that pan, it immediately starts to render out all that fat. Look at that. That is phenomenal. We're gonna let this cook for just a few minutes. Probably only a minute or so. And then we're gonna jump that steak right in. No butter, no nothing. We're just hitting it. All right. The pan is nice and oiled. I'm gonna crank the heat up just a little bit more because it's a little bit of a thin steak. And then we're going to drop it in. I'm going to keep flipping every 30 to 45 seconds. I want to develop that crust really nice over the next three or four minutes. Now let's do it, guys.
All right, I let this sit for actually about a minute. I'm going to flip it over, hit it on the other side, give it another minute, and we're going to keep flipping it over oh, and as we develop the crust. Just look at the crust on that bad boy, and that's only after about 45 seconds. And that's the other side. Now I'm going to hit this 30 seconds in between for the next two minutes. Flipping it around again, you can start to see that now the fat is starting to develop even more, and the crust is starting to get nice and dark. So we're going to kill the heat. And we're going to immediately take it off the heat. I'm taking it off the heat, putting it back on, the, back on the cutting board. We're going to let this rest 5 to 10 minutes. All it does that, it's going to cook inside and keep it going because the outside's a lot hotter than the inside. So we're going to let that rest 5 10 minutes. Just look at that crust. It is phenomenal right now. Listen to this. You can just hear it. It's... That is some damn good steak, guys. I am so hyped. All right, guys. It's been a few minutes. We let it rest. It's time to cut this bad boy. <laughs> and that is the final result. It is so tender, it's juicy. The smell is making me go crazy. It's time to take a bite. <laughs> Let's do it, guys. The taste is absolutely amazing. It is, it is unbelievably juicy. That is, without a doubt, the best steak I've ever had. I will never forget this. It is, it's not even an A5, it's an A3. That is the best New York strip I've ever had in my entire life. And I'm going to demolish the rest of these pieces in the next few minutes. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love this. I'm so hyped. I want to say thank you. And I'm going to be bringing videos every single week to you guys. The next video is going to be cream cheese frosting. I'm going to show you guys how to make a few different kinds. And I'm going to show you what we can use it for. You guys have a great day. I love you all.